right, guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. So we have the Part 2 LRs here. Eighth Anniversary Part 2 LRs. Let's see how good they look. Let's see what we got. So we do have a Kid Gohan, and then we also have a Goku. Base uh, Kid Gohan, base Goku. Um, these are good, um, like, named characters. Kid Gohan is not really anything special. I mean, the AGL Kid Gohan is okay. And then base Goku, it's like version Z Goku is like sort of okay. And, but And like the STR Namek Goku is like kind of okay, but not really too much, right? So this is good. Um, I guess let's just jump in. Let's see how strong these guys are going to be. Typically, Anniversary LRs, STR Kaioken Goku last year was very strong on release. Um, I think, you know, way more better units came out over the course of the year. But STR Kaioken was crazy on release for sure. Um, sixth Anniversary... I mean, Team Universe 7 was good, but, I mean, I feel like those guys fell off very fast. It, feel, it feels to me like they might have fallen off very fast. Um, fifth anniversary, LR Rosé was really strong, but he never got a chance to be great, I, like, with his teams and stuff like that. Um, and then the fourth anniversary, uh, Goku Chunks and Pan, I think, were really good from the fourth anniversary. Um, Baby was helpful because he's on so many, you know, like, weird niche teams. So Baby has been very useful throughout the years as well. Okay, let's, um, wait, what, wait, what, what is their D, dude, what, their defense, We've got 18,000 defense, what the hell, uh, what is your stats, oh my god, dude, these care, these LRs have, like, the highest defense in the, like, they're up there, this kid Gohan, he has to be within, like, the top 10 highest defensive stats in the game, that's interesting. Attack actually is a little bit low for this type of LR, I would say. And yeah, this attack is 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 more what we expect. Okay, okay. Um All right, so we got uh translations from the Homie Gresh. Uh let's go ahead and take a look what we got here. It looks like it's just three pictures right here. Yeah, there's a lot. I think Kid Gohan has unit supers and stuff like that. So Gohan leads Bond of Master and Disciple category 200%. Let's quickly take a look at this. I think this is actually pretty good. Bond of Master and Disciple 200%. Um, let's see, that was in Future Gohan introduced that, so it's like right here. I, I think this is actually going to be pretty good. Uh, th this is a big cat. This is a big category, dude. Okay, yeah, this is. I, I mean, th this is not bad. So, I mean, Double Kid Gohan. Yeah, you got Vegeta and Trunks, Orange Pickle. Yeah, this is good. Okay, that's good. I know Goku's. Goku's. I could just take a glance. This is Turtle School, so both uh, leader skills actually seem quite good. Okay, so that's 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 really nice. Um, twelve key super uh raise attack by thirty percent for one turn cost of damage, only attack. Uh, he, okay, so he better have damage reduction or something. Wait, eighteen key stack attack and defense. Oh, okay, okay, and does meg colossal damage. Um, and then there's a bunch of unit supers. So, unit super uh number one, <laughs> dude. Look at this name miraculous full throttle ultra z power all right no this unit is great already <laughs> um greatly stack attack and stack defense and it's an aoe that's if there's i i, I think oh oh that that's if there's a goku krillin yamcha or tn in the same turn and 18 key super that greatly stacks attack and raises defense and it's an aoe with Goku, Krillin, Yamcha, or Tien. So it's not exactly hard to proc. Okay. Uh, AoE is interesting. 18 key super number two. Together with Mr. Piccolo. Greatly stack attack, stack defense, med class damage to all enemies. So there's no difference in the buffs. Like like the two unit super attacks, they usually aren't different. Um, and this is if there's a Piccolo in the same turn and Key is 18 or more. So Gohan is stacking defense. He also stacks attack. Um, I know he has a Great Ape transformation. I assume that's just an active skill attack. Okay. This is our first Great Ape Kid Gohan, too. Essentially. Well, I guess the, that physical free-to-play LR, right? Okay, so... Um, <clears throat> intro activates my first appearance. 4 Key, 58% attack and defense. Additional is that a that has a great chance to be a super for six turns from first appearance. Uh, okay, the only thing with the additionals though, no defensive raises on twelve keys is, is unfortunate. Let's keep going. 
He's getting four key there, and then four key here. Four key, 158% attack, and even start a turn. Reduces damage received from enemies who have been hit by the 18 key super or unit super by 30% for one turn. Oh. Oh, he's very good. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, that's really good. It, it's just do an eight. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is good. Because LR Jackie Chun is, I feel like, way better than most people realize. Like, like there's there like when I did that ranking video of every character up, up until Raditz, there was a lot of characters that, of course, people are going to disagree with. It. No one can make a list of a hundred characters, and it's going to look similar for the most part. Well, th they could look similar, but they're not going to be like one to one, right? I saw people complaining about Jackie Chun, and that was when I knew, like, okay, like these people have not used him. Gotcha. Jackie Chun, that ability is so good. Wow. Okay. Oh, and then he gets more key. Key plus one up to five. Defense eight up to 58% per attack received. That's kind of iffy because this isn't looking like a slot one character to me, though. We've talked at length about how, you know, if you're Vegeta and Trunks, you're going in slot one. It's not a big deal. But, you know, when you're LR, Super Saiyan, Goku, and Vegeta in slot two and three, it, it's annoying. So that's not great. Um, And he gets another 58% attack from his fifth attack received. Additional super for the rest of the battle starting turn where the eighth attack has been received. Bro, uh, are they actually going to give us long content or not? The entire difficult content meta, it's all short fights right now. They keep releasing character after character after character. We are not getting this right now. This Kid Gohan, I think, is going to be very strong in slot two or slot three, right? You're not running him in slot one where you're going to get your eight hits received easily. So uh, they, got, they have to be... Proton has said that there's missing tickets in the data right now next to the 8th anniversary tickets, so there's a very good chance there is still a red zone coming with 8th anniversary. Uh, I hope so, and I hope it's super long, because we can't... You're not getting this, probably. How good is this Gohan? I think he's very good. He's he's pretty basic, sort of, but he's very good. He does have a... Like, the stacking is strong. Let's take a look at what his active skill is. Um, so HP is 58% or less. Okay. Oh, lovely. Awesome. Or after five turns have elapsed and there's a bond, a master, and a disciple ally in the same turn, not an issue. Re we love this. We love this. HP condition or not end, but or a turn condition. Beautiful. So that means super battle road, battlefield. You could, you know, destroy the enemy with this potentially. Massively raise attack temporarily. Ultimate damage, and super effective against all types during turn of activation. No crits, though. Interesting. We couldn't give him crits? Okay. Um, <clears throat> now, remember, he's stacking attack. Right, Gohan? So, it's like, yeah. Like, like hit, hit, this This great ape could hit very hard because he's stacking. It depends on how many, you know, 18 key super attack. I don't know, because it depends on how many 18 key supers you're going to get, right? It, it, it would be much more powerful if he was stacking attack on 12 key, which he's not. Okay, so we have that. Um, Innocent, Saiyan Warrior Race, All in the Family, Z Fighters, Gaze of Respect, Fierce Battle, Legendary Power. Uh... I mean, STR Piccolo has got Gaze of Respect, yeah? This guy right here? He does. Mm-hmm. This guy can go in slot one. But he, they've only got Gaze of Respect and Fierce Battle, right? Category, or, uh, links are not, I, I would say this is not ideal. <laughs> you know, perhaps get rid of Z Fighters or Innocence and let's get, like, you know, you guys ever heard of, like, Stay in Lineage or Prepare for Battle? I think that would be pretty good. Categories are Bond, a Master, and a Disciple, Hybrids, Goku Family, Youth, Saiyan, Saga, okay. Mon, a Parent, and Child, Warrior, Race, and Earth, and Grade 8 Power. Uh, looks good. How good? Not sure. Gonna want to see him in-game, you know, what these, like, damage numbers are actually going to be. But I, I think this is a very strong unit, actually. Uh, because it's like, you put, you get the 18 key off, and he's gonna be really tanky. Especially if you have All in the Family activated. I, I, I think that this guy is pretty good. Um, the only thing is, you know who else is not on here? Yeah, damn. Path to Power Kid Goku. 
is not on Turtle School or Bond of Master and Disciple, which is the two leader skills we have here. That does suck. That's that's a huge bummer, dude. Kid Go that path to power, Kid Goku next to this unit. Oh my god. Would it be insane? Um I'm trying to think, uh, right? Like, this character certainly is better than STR Carnival Goku, right? I think so. Um, I, I almost want to pull up my top 10 list. I'm, I'm, my brain, it's not working correctly. Uh, I, I, this Gohan looks good, but I certainly wish Links were a little bit better. I'm not a fan of this either. You could have given him 30% defense right there. That would that, would, that does matter. It does. He'd be a lot better if he had 30. I, I'm telling you, it would be a huge difference if he's getting 30% defense for one turn right there. Um, but he does look good. The AOE is interesting. Maybe he's going to be a good world tournament character. I mean, because remember, he's getting eight key for free. So I, that is definitely interesting. Okay. Okay. So there's Kid Gohan. Decent, decent. Um, he does feel like he's he's better than Great Ape Vegeta last year. I can tell you all that. <laughs> That's for sure. All right, so you got Goku, Goatku. You gotta love, dude. The anniversary is. Uh, we could say, oh my god, yes, we could. We could say it's for Goku's. <laughs> yes, we can. Goku's in every card. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god the main character of the series anniversary units no way <laughs> i love it that's so funny four gokus dude <laughs> all right anyway turtle school 200 percent super good by the way yamcha's really good um wait is jackie chun jackie chun is not on turtle school correct let me pull up turtle school real fast I believe Jackie Chun is not on Turtle School. He, he actually would be useful. There's, what, what like, non-Goku characters are good on here? There's Yamcha. Yamcha's really good. And, I mean, I guess that's sort of it, huh? Yeah, it's like, it, it literally, there's Yamcha and then every good Goku. <laughs> that's what's super good on Turtle School right now. Like, this guy's used, like, in, like, Super Battle Road settings, they gave him such a great toolkit. That LR Roshi, he still can do some stuff. He's a LR Roshi is actually one of the best design units they've ever done, and he's a free to play character. He like next time I just do a video sucking off some good design characters. LR Roshi, I gotta give him his flowers, man. Roshi is good, um, but like yeah, it's like there's not really some dominant Krillin right now, right? Like no, like that that tech this tech Krillin was really good on release, but I mean, dude, that's that's now two years ago, right? Like. Um, we, sir, Roshi is a character who could get a Dokkan Fest. I think very, you know, who's very deserving of a Dokkan Fest is this Roshi, the first Kamehameha. They could give him a Dokkan Fest. This is a good leader skill. Right now, it's basically just Goku plus Yamcha. Yamcha's good enough to run, by the way. Uh, but it, it, this could be good, right? This, this is definitely solid. All right, so 12 key. Uh, raise attack and defense for one turn and cost it. Yeah, crazy, huh? 30% attack and defense. Yeah, almost like that's a good idea. Nice. Okay. Uh, 18 key stacks defense, attack by 30% for one turn, mega colossal. It's so simple. You just give him stacking. That's all. That's all it takes, dude. Okay. All right. So intro animation, four key, 59% attack and defense. A guard for six turns. Oh my God. We're cooking. Yes. Oh, that's really good. I mean, you guys see how good Blue Kyle Ken Goku is right now and all these characters? Guard for several turns at the start of the fight. Right, what did I just say? Like two minutes, or three minutes ago, four minutes ago, five minutes ago. Right now, content is built around the start of these fights. That is, right now, this is one of the strongest abilities characters can get. Guard for like, you know, four turns, five turns, six turns, something like that. It is so good. Until they make this content long, this is a dominant ability. This Goku is looking really good already. And then here we go. Another four key, 159% attack and defense. Oh, he has survives KO damage. So th th this is Yajirobe's ability. What the hell? Dude, what? Okay. Sure. Wait, recovers HP by 59% once only if ending an attacking turn. What? At 40% HP or below? 
Ah, uh, okay. Gain one key, max of five. Nine percent chance to crit to a max fifty nine for every attack received. Unlike Kid Gohan, who wants to go in slot two or three, this guy is guarding at the start. He can go in slot one. He's fine. Gets an additional fifty nine percent defense for the rest of the battle starting from the turn where the fifth attack has been received. One hundred and twenty percent attack for the rest of the battle starting from the turn where the ninth attack has been received. Oh no, dude! It's it's just it's a counter. It's not a nullification. Oh, I thought he had a nullification too. It's a it's it's a counter. Okay, okay, that sucks because it means like uh, Ice Shenron, right? You can't you know do it against Ice Shenron, for example, or Broly, right? Red Zone Broly doesn't work. Yeah, they gotta. Uh, I I've said this many times. If you're gonna do it specifically on a type of super attack, it needs to be a nullification. If you're gonna give a character a super attack counter, sure, right? Super busted. Um, you know, bosses that cancel dodge, get rid of that. But if it's going to be a specific type, it should be a nullification. It's so stupid. It's so, There's so few fights. Like, I, I mean, I, I, that's not actually true. But, like, I guess of the top tier fights, right? Like, this doesn't work against Broly. I guess Ice Shenron doesn't do a Key Blast Super anyway. Um, and I guess those are the two main, you know, dodge-canceling bosses. But you guys get what, what the hell I'm saying. All right, whatever. Uh, this Goku seems insane. <clears throat> this guy is, like, uh, really high up there. Because... He's guarding at the start. He's stacking defense. He has a heal. And he could survive KO damage. That's just so crazy. I mean, you do want to keep in mind with the KO damage thing, though, is that this works effectively if this guy's the last unit on the rotation. Because you survive KO damage, and then you have one HP after that. So any attack connects, and you lose. Um, but that's an interesting ability to have. I, like, if there's, like, one attack on the turn or something like that, and it's, like, cell max, you know, 5 million damage super, but you live. And then he recovers HP. This guy seems pretty good. I am really liking this Goku, actually. So, active skill, he does the Spirit Bomb. Um, when HP is 59% or below, or, or, once five or more turns have elapsed. Again, that's super good when characters have two, multiple, like, multiple different conditions like that. Vegeta and Trunks have that. 7th Anniversary LRs have that. Like, so many good characters have multiple conditions. That's really good. Okay, so five or more turns elapse, and there's another Warrior Race and Earth category ally. That's not even a problem. This is a obscene category. It's super good. Massively raise attack temporarily. Ultimate damage. All attacks become crits. Dude, what the... F is the Goku just way better than Gohan? I mean, Gohan does have the guaranteed additional right there, but I feel like the second additional eight attacks... Is Goku just, like, way better than the Gohan? That sucks, because the Gohan is one I'm more interested in. It's because he's an AoE, dude! Oh my god! Because they made him a blasted AoE unit! That's why! <sighs> god, okay. Dokkan overrates the hell out of AoE, dude. Ugh. That has... I just feel like Goku is way better. Even, like... Like, Goku is getting crits on the active, and Gohan's getting super effective against all types. Why? Hmm. Okay. Ah, dude, this Goku looks ridiculous. This Goku looks ridiculous. Okay, okay. I was not excited for this Kai Goku either, but he looks crazy. Uh, Link, same way race, all in the family experience, fighters, in fighters, Z fighter, fierce battle, legendary power. Uh, okay, no prepare for battle, no saying lineage. I mean, they are doing okay in that they're giving them a lot of, themselves a lot of key anyway, right? Four key, four key, but, okay, okay. Um, yeah, so both Goku and Gohan just filled to the brim with attack links. He's on Turtle School, Pure Saiyan, Goku Family, Vana Friendship, Vana Parent and Child, Warrior is on Earth, Power of Hope, uh, full... Power, Kamehameha, final trump card. Power of Hope. That's the um the Power of Wishes category. Okay. So yeah. Goku. I put up an LR tier list not too long ago. I think it's very relevant at the end of this video for me to point this out. Uh, this Goku, I think, is potentially like top three. Like he's like dude, he, I'm telling he's like right, he's up there. Uh, like, could this guy be competing with, like, Vegeta and Trunks and shit? I think so. Let me see. So, okay. Okay, okay. Let's take a look here. I think Goku 
like is probably in here. He feels comparable to these guys to me, which is cr actually crazy. Uh, like I could see myself putting Goku at four. Maybe best case scenario, I have Goku at four. Kid Gohan, probably seven. I think. I think I would put him above cool. Probably above cooler. I I I need I kid Goku is good. I need to see what Kid Gohan is looking like in action. I know Goku is good though. Uh, dude, I've got way too much stuff. Hold on, we gotta I got way too way too many tabs and things open here. Let's let's uh let's close a bunch of this. Okay, okay. Um Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Goku seems so Dude, the guard, the heal, the stacking. He has one of these powerful actives. Ah, Goku looks really good to me. Um, Goku will fall off a bit, I think. Um, well, we'll see what his defense looks like, like how much he stacks. But Goku would fall off a bit if we, when we get this theoretical, oh my god, 20 turn, you know, stage that's as hard as like, you know, red zone Broly on release or something like that. If we get something like that, Goku will fall off a bit. But blue Kaioken Goku... You know, it, right now, like, him and this LR Goku, like, these fights are wrap. you know, turn six, seven, eight, you're wrapping that shit up. It's, like, you're finishing. So, yeah, like, it's gonna be crazy. Wow, these guys are looking good. Um, uh, Ka again, Kaioken Goku was really good last year, um, but Great at Vegeta, like, his design sucked. I feel like the first second I read his kit, I did not like his design, that Great at Vegeta. Um, so, okay, okay, okay. Let me know what you guys think. I think power level-wise, these guys do seem good. I, I, like, both are making it on here, for sure. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, I think so. Bro, th I'm gonna update this in, like, a week. It's gonna be a while, because these guys drop on the 16th, and then World Tournament's the next day, so a lot of my showcases are gonna be delayed by the goddamn World Tournament, but... Uh, cool, dude, this next list is going to come out. Cooler is going to be nine. That is so, I, dude, Cooler has not fallen off. I, I have to repeat it myself over and over. He has not fallen off at all. And I think he's going to be at nine. Dokkan, I, I, dude, they're doing a good job of making all these units like good, like relevant, not overpowered, but that like, like in, the, I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we do need, I guess, tougher content, but. I wouldn't be looking forward to people complaining. Oh my God, artificial difficulty again. So we'll see. Uh, again, sort of like final thoughts. It seems to me like the Goku is a little bit better. Um, but I, I do want to see both in game. I do think both look really good. Goku has got a lot of tools though, man. I, I like what Goku is doing. He'd be, a lot, he'd be even better if he had a nullification rather than a key blast super. But, you know, we'll see how things are going to look. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. I love y'all. And I'll catch y'all next time. Oh, uh, by the way, data download, I guess it's not going to be tonight. I w they dropped it. Typically, they drop shit at this time, and then the data download is immediately right after. Doesn't look like it, because I've been grinding links the whole video. There's been no data download. We do have the World Tournament coming up as well, and again, on the, the 17th. So uh, the data download potentially could have, like, easy LR Piccolo as well. That's the thing. This this Gohan, I mean, if, if that int... World Tournament LR Piccolo gets an easy and he's super crazy. That might be their intention. It could be because it looks like he's going to easy a um, based upon the 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 news. We'll see. We we will see once the data download happens. So again, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching and uh, later.